It's the radio guy. Welcome to the weekend edition of The Zone here from the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We try to bring you some news you can use. Today will be no exception to that rule. Follow me on X at The Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And we do have a 24-hour stream available for your listening pleasure at obnradio.com. We got a lot in store for you on this weekend edition, so we might as well jump right into it now. Of course, today is the day that all talking is laid to the side, and we will have a champion by 3 p.m. Central Time. FAMU will be hosting the MEAC champion, Howard Bice. And the reason I say that they'll be hosting because they will be the top seed because of their 11, I'm sorry, yes, 11 and 1 record taking on the 6 and 5 Howard Bison. Don't let the records fool you. Should be a very competitive game, but I am standing with the FAMU Rattlers to be out on top in this one. As they say, the kickoff will start at 11 a.m. Central Time, and it should be a very, very interesting game. A game that was not so interesting was the semifinal of the FCS football playoffs on last night, and the South Dakota Jackrabbits had no problem with the New Albany State Great Dane. 59-0 was the final score. So South Dakota will await the winner between North Dakota and Montana. They'll play later on today, if I'm not mistaken. Their kickoff will be at 3.30 Central Time on today. And they'll meet up for the championship, the winner between Montana and North Dakota at Frisco to take on the South Dakota Jackrabbits. Had no problem. They are defending champions, and they are ready to make things a go for the next week. Well, not next weekend. They'll actually play their championship game on January the 7th from Frisco, Texas. Of course, this is the day of bowl play throughout the NCAA Divisional College Football Rankings. But the main focus for us today is going to be the Celebration Bowl by way of Atlanta, Georgia. In other college football news, in particular that of the Southwestern Athletic Conference, we know that the Southern Jaguars have decided to stick with Terrence Graves He was announced this week as the latest addition of head coaches to lead the Jaguars. He will be getting $250,000 a year for the next four years as he will try to put his Midas touch on Jag Nation. Of course, he is the first man to win the Bayou Classic on both sides of the fence. And he is replacing, of course, Eric Dooley, who the Jags will still have to figure out how to pay his balance of $620,000. Although there could be a little bit of wiggle room out of that if he lands another coaching job. And understanding Coach Dooley the way I think I do, he's going to want to try to get back into the coaching realm as soon as possible. But in the event he does it, he's got 620,000 reasons that is not as bad as it may appear on the surface. Meanwhile, you have the discussions of what will be the next move for Texas Southern, if any move. It had been speculated, calculated, guesstimated that Fred McNair would be relocating to Texas Southern by way of the reservation in Norman, Mississippi. And depending on who you ask, is still a move in the making. But there were some last-minute hiccups in the road, in particular the border regions of Texas Southern, trying to make sure that all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed 
before they make things official. Now, we knew that December 15th was the magic date for McNair, for Texas Southern, and for Alcorn State. Now, Alcorn State had a deal on the table, according to certain reports, but it was yet to be received by Coach McNair, who I guess in his mind has said enough is enough, and he is ready to go ahead and plunge into the deep waters of Houston, Texas. All of this will be very intriguing to find out how the dust finally settles. And speaking of dust finally settling, you got some whispers now coming out of the Grambling State camp that Ted White could be the next in charge for the head coaching position for the G-Men. Now, Ted White is not a stranger to SWAC play. As a matter of fact, he was on the coaching staff at Prairie View. And more in particular, his focus today will be on his alma mater, the Howard Bison, as they get ready to take on FAMU in the Celebration Bowl. So there are a lot of things that are developing and tweaking as we speak here in the land of HBCU head coaching carousel. Meanwhile, you'll have the early signings to get on and off the way. Of course, the portal has been open. But in the case of HBCUs in particular, the early signing is not that major of a deal because when we begin to try to sign guys, we'll get uh, interest, uh, mutual interest response, but they're really waiting to see if they'll get any what they would consider better offers. So they'll say, yeah, let me come back to you. So the true signing for the HBCU circuit in most cases will end up being in February, but we will be keeping an eye on any activity of significance going back and forth. As we mentioned, the portal is wide open right now. Of course, one of the bigger names to have jumped into the portal was Andrew Body. Will Andrew return to Texas Southern? Will he land at another Southwestern Athletic Conference school? We don't know just yet, but of course it will be one of intrigue. And I guess the biggest question is how healthy is Andrew Body? Is the shoulder up for the task it would take to go through a grueling Division I football season? So there are a lot of questions in the atmosphere that will be answered, as they would say, soon and very soon. Of course, now we are in the stride of basketball season for both men and women on the collegiate level. And the Prairie View a University women's basketball program will be taking on the Rice Owls today from Houston, Texas. On the men's side, the men will be hosting North America on Monday at 3 p.m. For Texas Southern, they'll be in action tonight on the hardwood from the men's division from the city that never sleeps, Las Vegas, Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada, as the Tigers will be taking on North Carolina A&T. That tip-off time will be 8.30 p.m. on the central dial. Meanwhile, the Lady Tigers basketball program will be hosting the Omaha Mavericks on Monday from Houston, Texas. Other matchups for the Southwestern Athletic Conference looks as such. Jackson State will be taking on the Howard Bison in men's basketball, while the women for Jackson State will be in action on Wednesday against the Miami Hurricanes of the ACC. The Grambling State Tigers programs will be in action both on Wednesday. The women will be taking on Nickel State, and the men will be taking on Southeast Louisiana. Meanwhile, on the women's circuit for the Southern Jags, they'll be taking on Nebraska Cornhuskers on Sunday. Meanwhile, 
the men's program will be taking on Tulane today, 12 noon, I believe, is that kickoff. Should I say tip-off? As far as the Golden Lions go, men will be in action on Monday against Ecclesia College. And the hot Golden Lions on the women's side will be taking on Ole Miss Thursday at 1 p.m. Meanwhile, the top-seeded Bethune-Cookman women's basketball program will take their 7-3 record against North Carolina A&T this coming Thursday. Believe that tip-off will be 1 p.m. Central Time. Meanwhile, the Wildcats from the men's side will be playing Indiana-Purdue-Fort Wayne, or IPFW, for their tip-off scheduled for today, Saturday, Believe that will be at 1 p.m. Central Time. Meanwhile, the Alabama A&M women's basketball program will be in flight against Chicago State Cougars. They will be together, if I'm not mistaken, on Monday. And let me put a little side note. Congratulations to Miss Monique Carroll, who's serving as the athletic director, who was just Uh, promoted to vice president as well as athletic director at Chicago State. Meanwhile, the A&M men Bulldogs will be in tip-off action against Chattanooga Chattanooga tonight at 7 p.m. tip-off time. Staying in the state of Alabama, the Alabama State Lady Hornets will tip off against DePaul on Sunday, 1 p.m. Central Time. The men will step in the gear with USC on Tuesday. Meanwhile, the Alcorn State Lady Braves will take on Louisiana Tech. Today, 1 p.m. is that tip-off time. As the men will take on Northern Iowa on Sunday, 1 p.m. is that tip-off time. Mississippi Valley women's basketball will hit the hardwood against Texas A&M on Monday. While the men will be doing battle with Tulsa on Tuesday. And finally, the FAMU Rattlers, they'll be doing battle. The men today will take on Iowa and the women will be playing Detroit Mercy on Thursday. Don't forget, you can join us weekly with our guru of basketball, Coach Van Petaway, as he will be breaking down the X's and O's of both women and men's basketball here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Just want to remind you guys that you will be able to join us throughout the course of basketball for local high school and college coverage here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We have a plethora of games scheduled for you, and you can join us right here on the website, obnradio.com, or by way of our YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. A little programming note for you in the world of listeners throughout the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We are constantly grinding and looking for ways to better serve you. And this is no different time of year. We are looking for potential correspondents that can help us expand our coverage and reporting, not only through the Southwestern Athletic Conference, each and every institution that makes up the conference. There is a place for you here. If you're interested, all you need to do is reach out by way of email at ombnetwork at gmail.com. Once again, that is ombnetwork at gmail.com. And for the title subject, just put affiliation. That's ombnetwork at gmail.com. Topic affiliation. Same would hold true for our local high school coverage. If you are interested in being an affiliate or correspondent, once again, send that email information to ombnetwork at gmail.com We're getting ready to wind down here on this zone coverage on this Saturday 
December 16th. But do want to remind you guys, if you would like to subscribe, you would like to send donations, please feel free to visit our website, OVNRadio.com. Click on the donation button and whatever you can afford would be greatly appreciated. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. It is our mission to try to bring you news that you could use each and every day. Do follow me on X at the Mike Prince Show. And as we mentioned, subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Hit that bell notification, and that way you'll be updated every time there's something new released. And don't forget, you can visit our website for our 24-hour streaming content at obmradio.com. I've got the exit stage left. My time is far spent. Don't forget, fam, you, Howard Bison, getting together for the HBCU championship game today, beginning at 11 a.m. Central Time. So until the next time, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.